saved the life of this uh, elderly woman. You're well protected. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. These people come out for every, anything you need. Figure if I made it nice, the kids would come. We dedicate this month's show to our first responders, the people who put their lives on the line every day and devote countless hours to serve and protect us. They're usually the first ones to respond to an emergency, but the last ones to ask for anything in return. Two Cliffside Park police officers were in the right place at the right time when a borough woman was in need of medical assistance. The officers were recently recognized by the Bergen County Board of Chosen Freeholders at the second annual Law Enforcement Hero Ceremony. I just wanted to say just how honored, I'm sure my colleagues share the same sentiment, how honored we are to stand before each one of you uh, brave men and women. Patrolman Steven Mantilla, a recent graduate of the Bergen County Police Academy, and Jason Pinzone, who had only been on the job for four years, were two of several officers in the county who were honored for going above and beyond the call of duty in their community. This award that they received was about saving the life of an uh, elderly woman uh, in our borough. Uh, Basically, their training kicked in, and they did what they were trained to do. That day, I was working. I happened to be on a construction detail. And while on that detail, I seen a female, one of the residents of Clinside Park, on her patio screaming for help. So I ran over. I said, what's the problem? She said the uh, elderly female that resides with her was choking on food. So then I, I entered the home. I saw an elderly female on the couch. Um, choking, gasping for air. Uh, so I immediately saw her there, picked her up from behind, and started performing the Heimlich maneuver on her. And uh, I was able to uh, take the food out of her, her uh, throat. Officer Mantilla called for help, and he uh, explained over the radio what was going on in a choking female. When I got there, he just finished doing the Heimlich maneuver. I walked in, and she had remaining food in her mouth. I uh, helped get the excess food out, and that was the end of the story. She was breathing alive and well, and we were real happy. I thought, like, you know, everything I learned in the academy came into play. It was a very proud moment. Officer Mantilla did a great job, and I just followed his lead. When dealing with any type of emergency situation, Cliffside Park residents can be rest assured they're well protected. The Volunteer Fire Department and Emergency Medical Services are staffed 24 hours a day, seven days a week, with talented, caring people who have access to the most state-of-the-art life-saving equipment. Cliffside Park EMS is uh, staffed by four full-time employees, approximately 30 per diem employees, 24 hours, seven days a week, uh, every holiday. We respond to uh, sick and injured 911 calls. We also do uh, private transports for our residents in town. We average about 3,500 calls a year. We have the most state-of-the-art equipment. Push, this, push the other button, it comes right up. Loads up to 750 pounds. Also, all of our vehicles have been purchased within the past five years. The other new device that we received over the past couple of years is called the uh, Autopulse. It's a CPR device. These straps would go over the patient's chest, and this pumps the patient's chest for you. Our response times are you know, relatively very good. Of course, there's an occasion when something, you know, they'll be on another call and they'll have to go to mutual aid, but you know, most of the times we care for our own residents. We're all fully paid EMTs here. Everybody here is up, to, up on their training. Um, you know, we treat all the residents here like as if they're our own family members, let's put it that way. I've been a firefighter for 12 years here. Uh, I started right out of high school, following my father's footsteps. My father's been a firefighter over 40 years here, along with my grandfather, making me the first third generation firefighter in Cliffside Park. We respond to approximately 1,100 calls a year. Carbon monoxide, structure fires, oven fires, trees down, all types of emergencies, anything we could help a resident with. We're there for them. We, we have state-of-the-art equipment here, and uh, you know the town's very good to us. The people are good to us. We have uh, four engines, uh, a tower ladder, tiller, uh, tractor drawn aerial, a mini pumper for the high rises for the parking garages. So uh, we're prepared for any type of emergency that comes our way. We can have 100 firefighters in Cliffside Park within five minutes. If, if we're needed. Same way we offer our services to the other towns also. During the day, uh, fire prevention takes the calls. We also backfilled uh, Parks and Recreation, the Department of Public Works, our police officers are on the volunteer fire department. The fire department is manned 24 seven. I drive the fire trucks, so that's pretty impressive. So when I get to a fire call, people are expecting a male to be behind it. And then they see me and they're like, wow, that's a girl driving it. So 
it's pretty cool. It's a great place, a lot of camaraderie here. People respect you, they respect us. It's a good feeling. As commissioner of the EMS and fire departments, I want to assure our residents that we have top-notch uh, personnel and equipment and we are ready to go at any time to serve the needs of our population. The fire department is always looking for new volunteers. Applications are available on the department's website. The town is also looking to hire more EMTs. For more information, visit the borough's Facebook page. The Police Athletic League's newly renovated Health, Fitness and Tutoring Center at 550 Gorge Road opened its doors earlier this month. At a ribbon-cutting ceremony, Mayor Thomas Calabrese encouraged the students in town to take advantage of the center. If I could just talk to the kids, use it guys, you, use it, it's important, you have fun. The town's getting better facilities, better and better, and it's just a credit to everybody who put it together. I'd like to thank the mayor and council for all their support. We couldn't have done this gym without everybody in the town. Well, it's new and improved PAL. Um, we have a free tutoring center, free fitness center. I'm hoping this is going to be a great resource for kids. They have no excuse now, whether it's academics, whether it's fitness. We did everything humanly possible to make this gym up to date and appealing to the kids at Cliffside Park to come in and, you know, work out, get healthy, get fit, and if they need any help in school, to come get tutored. Parents are always looking for a little assistance with their kids in education, and having the National Honor Society kids from the high school tutoring our kids, I think this is wonderful. We don't have a community center in Cliffside, um, so this is the closest thing to a community center we could have. With the permission of Chief Richard Gato, I opened it up to the police officers, the gym as well, so now I can get the police officers in here with the kids, working out together, communicating together, talking to each other, you know, working out together, building some bonds. I'm hoping that students can come here to learn how to respect one another, learn to be a community, and really appreciate each other. Juliana helped paint the mural in the lobby of the facility, empowering those who enter the gym to recognize their worth. She also got help from her classmate Mina, who did all the lettering on the wall. I think it's good for teenagers because um, I think teenagers need a place like this, not just a gym, but also a tutoring center. I think people will come, definitely. Like people from middle school and high school, they will come. American Legion Post 126 in Cliffside funds our tutoring center, so they supply us with our computers every few years. Uh, they gave me the money for the new desks and chairs. A lot of businesses in town donated. Um, there's a plaque in there. I put the names of everyone who donated on the plaque because uh, I want to show them the appreciation for what they're doing to help me keep this gym going. Yeah, we've got a lot of donations. The center is open to students in grades 3 to 12. The gym can be used Monday through Friday between 12 and 8 p.m. And tutoring will be available Monday through Friday from 3 to 7 p.m. That wraps up our show for October. Once again, a special thanks to our first responders, some of the bravest and most selfless people you'll ever meet.